price of XRP is inside this trend. On a short term chart, we can observe the fact that yes, we are in a channel which is now supported by a trend line which is actually going up. But as we zoom out, we get to see the big picture. And right now that is important to understand. Because when we actually see what's happening here, we also have to look for something which we have seen in the recent past. Once you get this, there is a possible movement like this. Now that, for XRP, comes from a macro pattern. If you actually focus on XRP and its macro price action, we have seen something similar in the past, breaking to the upside. So it seems like the macro, the micro, the patterns are kind of emerging in a similar way. This is actually good so we can understand what the market is doing. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Fam, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. Now, on the other end, Bitcoin and the price action inside Bitcoin is critical. Watching that on a short term and the macro will give you an advantage because this is the macro. Whenever this has happened in the past, you can zoom out all the way to 2021, 2019, 2015, 2014, wherever you want to go. But the results are the same. You were in a bull market. The price was going up, up, up. So you don't want to go into an area asking like, are we still in a bull market in the crypto market? Crypto market is running hot. You're watching some of these coins like going crazy nuts, right? Why is that happening? See, when we look at ZRX, it is up 76% for the day. It is up 150% for the month. So if you actually go back and look at what the price action was showing you a couple of months back and then ask the question like, okay, did it give me an opportunity? It did. We were following it through saying, okay, watch these. We're going to break through that. So that was first target for us back then. And right now is the price, 0.53. It went through that. It actually broke through a lot of different levels. And it's somewhere here, almost halfway through our targets. That is why I'm saying, like, look at the market. The market is showing you something. We are running hot. Say, when you look at the top 100, you're watching, say, Rune is best performing asset for the day. And when you look at it for the week, yeah, it's still up 45%. That's a recent decent run up. Then you look for what it is doing on a monthly. That's already up 19%. That's a big number to look at because when you look back, remember in August, it was still 0.98. Where is the price now? It's close to $5. So when we started following this, I said, okay, guys, watch this. This is going to actually have a micro run up. Then I followed it up. As soon as we broke that, I told you guys, okay, watch. It's going to go close to $2.9. And then as we reached that level and slowed down, I was like, okay, watch this. We're going to go this way around. And right now, it's here. It's actually about to hit this target. So we had multiple targets. It's almost getting hit. Why? The price action showed you a double bottom reversal coming back in and breaking the trend line. We followed it through and that gave us the ability of understanding what the price action wanted to do. Now, if you look at the last one week, you'll actually see a lot of different currencies or crypto assets starting to run up. So you can actually see highly correlated assets with Bitcoin and with Ether are now coming back into the game. So we actually went through a lot of these calls, say BNT is up 100% for the month. We had our call, it's performing great. If you actually look at PYI, it's like crazy today. It's moving really great. We had our calls. We followed it through. And that's one of the reasons why 600 plus members follow the SI family. Why? You get the calls and you get the follow through. So you know where the targets are. You know what to look for. So when you are in the market, you should be asking this question to yourself. Yes, the market is going to be volatile. There is going to be a lot of manipulation happening in this market. It's not only the retail guys like us who are participating in this market. It is the whales, it is the financial institutions. So it's going to be a lot more difficult to take that profits out. So while we look at all this and say, okay, the market itself is going up, 
we need to first understand where XRP is. So we actually look at this on a macro horizon. It is actually okay. But then when we actually go on to a different spectrum, looking at what it is doing in the real time, how are we performing? So on the RSI side of things, it is showing you we are still inside this channel. MACD is still negative. We are going to the downside and we are reaching the negative territory on a four hour chart, not on a macro scale, on a micro scale. So the pattern is still the same. There is nothing changing here. You're still inside this. But what matters as of now, in my opinion, is that when you're looking at this asset on a higher time frame, say a daily chart, this is what you're watching. Like two candles that push to the upside is now taking like a long way to the downside with a long number of bearish candles. So that shows the amount of strength which the bulls actually have. They're trying to control the market. So you can, you can actually watch the fact that the price action is being controlled by the bulls. If you actually go on a weekly chart for XRP, it actually shows you the MACD is still here. It's still bullish. It's in the positive territory. We are watching this area as we discussed in last couple of weeks and last couple of days, especially saying, guys, watch, we may actually come back down. We want to come touch this moving average. Somewhere close to 0 0.6, 0 0.58 is going to be a great range to retest this. So this was a support resistance. And once you retest this and start a bounce, I think there is a lot more potential in this asset to do. Say you have this pattern, you come back down, you break through. The moment you see the break here, that should be a confirmation. So what would that, what would it actually look like in the price action terms? If we put that here, it should look like this. The time you break 0.73, should be a key saying, okay, something is changing. We are going back up. Now, if you're like, okay, I really don't care about this amount of noise in the market. Then you're going on to a macro chart. Like, okay, we spend a long time flirting with the moving average. Now we're staying above that kind of, you know, moving back up, which it's a, in itself is actually a positive move. Now, then you go on to a monthly chart, which is like a macro view where you're like, okay, the moment we break this to the downside, that's negative. When we break to the upside, it's the opposite. You come back to retest and bounce off. Right now, you already broke that to the upside. You're doing your retest. You're trying to bounce off. So that should be another macro signal for anyone looking at this asset saying, okay, that's a huge opportunity. But the issue here right now in the crypto market is we all understand the fact that it actually moves in cycles whether it's on a micro, macro, on a different spectrum, we watch that. That's one of the reasons why when a lot of these other coins are running up, you're not watching XRP popping. Even though for last three, four weeks, we are watching like the altcoin market is still grinding up. That's actually a positive sign showing you that the weekly RSI is trying to reach this territory. Historically, whenever that does the same thing, it shows you enormous potential in the price. So if you actually go into a lot of these assets, say if you want to go into the market and pick an asset, it would actually show you how the market is performing. Because when you actually try looking at a lot of these assets, it kind of gives you a lot of different thought process. So when you go through the first hundred, the next hundred, you take through a lot of different, different assets and you ask that question, what can you actually see? See, if you actually take in an asset, which we just saw like, you know, Holo, you are looking at this. There's a macro pattern. So what's the RSI showing you? If it's me, I would look at this and say, okay, we are still in the overbought territory. We're not moving out. This is good. On a three day, we're just entering that range. And historically, when we have done that after a long period of time, that happens to be a great starting point for something big. So if you want to reduce noise, it's good. It's cool. It's great. You just go on a weekly chart and look at it. When you enter into this zone on a weekly chart, that's when you will see massive price action. Now, we're watching this happening in the AI-based tokens. We were in it. We were in it. Like, way before the price. Now, we are already 100% up in that trades, right? If you actually look at this, it was a call when it was like 0.22. Where's the price right now? The fetch is somewhere around 0.44. So we are 100% up in that. But what's the reason? How can you identify this? 
if you spend enough time in the market, you already know, okay, there's a lot of different indicators which you can actually use. I prefer RSI. Now, I do look at the volume, I do look at the price action, but the easy way for anyone to look at this is like, okay, first look for a daily. If the daily chart is entering on the overbought territory, you can say, okay, something is cooking, it's looking good. If the three day enters into that territory, now it's like, okay, okay, that's, that's really good. I'm gonna see something really great. The moment you see the weekly entering day, historically, it has actually shown you the price continues from there, maybe 200, 300 percentage, but it's not coming back down to this range. Rather, it goes back up. It gives you an opportunity if you're focused on it. So each time this happens, the price action does show you something. Now, if you're a cyclical guy, the wave guy, you're understanding things, this is your one, this is your two, this is your three. So in this time, you already got this one, you're going for the two. So usually that two is the biggest area where you catch. Now we entered close to the bottom. We are happy. We are happy. We are riding this. Wherever it goes, we'll ride it. When we get a confirmation that the big guys are exiting, we will exit. But watch how the price action is moving. Just the opposite of the divergence will actually give you the idea where to take profit. Now, when you're in the crypto market and you're focused on XRP, you also have to understand this. Market does not only include XRP. That's the reality. We all love it. That's the best asset agreed. But those who are new coming into the market, they would actually jump into a lot of different coins, including the MEM coins. So you will actually see some of those popping. Now, you can keep your eyes focused on some of these MEM coins, say Dogecoin. You know, that's one of a coin which has existed for a long period of time. Now, look at the rules which we just talked about. Daily, it entered there. It was like, okay, that's good. Now we're going on to the three day. It's entering there. And that's like, okay, this is getting exciting. So you have at least another 100% move here. For If it's me, I would say there's at least a 100% move there. Maybe it's going to happen in a month, maybe two weeks. I really don't know, but it is coming. It is coming. And in that sense, I would actually argue the time period when you see that going on to a weekly, historically. That has been a good run up. Now, when we look at this, we would feel, okay, that's a small wick there. No, that was like a 370% run up. And that happened during your accumulation phase where you are still consolidating for the longest period of time. Now you look at this, another phase where you consolidated like that. Whoa, that's something, you know, huge. So for me, yeah, watch this you are going to get opportunities everywhere in the market, but you need to know where you should take profits if you're trading. If you're a long-term guy, that doesn't matter. You're looking for this. Great, but can we break this to the upside or are we coming back down before a big pop? Something which we'll discuss and we'll follow through in the SI family. That's one of the reasons why I always say if you want these kind of updates, join the SI family where 644 people are taking benefit of all these calls. We are riding the market, right? In last 30 days, it seems uh, we are kind of 230, say 220% up in just our trades. Why is that? Because the market is giving you enormous potential. The market is showing you a lot of assets are starting to trend. Now, we are already in a lot of trades for sure. We are up 40, 50, 80% in different trades. But when you actually look at this, some of them, if you are a macro guy, you're looking for 8 to 10x. That's a big deal, especially if you are in a trade where you are leveraging 1x, 2x, 3x, whatever you wish to do, but control your risk, manage your risk properly. So whichever you choose, you now know what's your ROI, what's your target, the medium term, the macro. First, yeah, the short term and medium term targets are important. If you're trading micro, yeah, short term targets are important. You take profits, you move out. This market is going to give you enormous amount of opportunities in the next two, three months. Take benefit of that. It may not actually come back in this way, meaning, yeah, you can still buy somewhere here and sell here, you're going to do fine. But buying in this range and riding it somewhere close to the top, I'm not saying get the absolute top. Even if you miss the top 50 or 100%, that's fine. Because if you can ride this, that's a huge thing to look at. Say from the bottom till the top, that's like a 350x. Great, but how many of you can 
really ride that wave. If you can get a 50, 60, 70 X, I would say we are happy. We're not trying to get the top and the bottom. Trying to pick that is going to be crazy in this market. This is crypto market. Now, you can try to time those with a small portion of your portfolio, not with all of them. That's why we try to educate on the targets and profit taking scenarios in the one on one session. So if you are looking for the one on one sessions as well, Patreon, the link is given in the description below. If you're watching on YouTube, if you are on Twitter, it's in the bio that can help you reach to me. Now, when you go back onto the XRP side of things, that is where you need a lot more patience. We are back into the trend line. The weekly RSI shows this now. The amount of discussion which we just had, look at that. Where are we on the weekly? First, you come up, you kind of fake out. Second, you reach there, you pop. But what's that important point for you and me to keep in mind? If you actually take a vertical line here and drop it on the candle just before the pop, where is it? It is at that verge where you're entering the overbought territory. We're not there yet. We shared that thought process before. Watch for the end of December, maybe, you know, early Jan, maybe mid-December, where we may actually enter there. That means in a month or two, you'll start watching this asset popping. So you do have an opportunity to average down whenever you have a dip. But in a bull market, if you're completely out, waiting for the market to dip for you to get in, the market really don't care about me, you and others, whether I'm a good guy, you are a good guy. The market does not care. The market only cares whether if you're in it or not. Because when it runs up, it doesn't knock the door and say, okay, jump on, I'm going up. It does not do that. One day you wake up and you see the price is 100% up. Not 100x for sure, 100% up, that's a possibility. So if you are riding that wave, make sure you are disciplined. Make sure you have enough patience to give to this market. So guys, if you received value, smash that like button for me. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.